Hi my friend, I'm Dan Hammer and this video series is about how you can naturally prevent Alzheimer's and cardiovascular disease. In this final video, we're going to pull all the pieces together into a concise plan of action. The first step centers on repairing and nourishing your endothelial cells to improve their ability to properly produce nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. As you can see by the slide on this video, the endothelium is a one cell thick layer that lines all of your cardiovascular system. Your heart, arteries, capillaries and veins are lined by the endothelium. Scientists now believe that your endothelial cells ultimately determine the health of your blood vessels and play a major role in preventing cardiovascular disease. As we've already discussed, diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol levels all directly damage your endothelium. It's this cumulative damage over time that results in most cardiovascular disease and is strongly associated with the development of Alzheimer's disease. Thus, your highest priority is to repair and nourish this organ to improve its ability to properly produce nitric oxide. Unfortunately, most physicians never ever consider this step. Thankfully, one has. His name is Dr. J. Joseph Prendergast, or Dr. Joe as he prefers to call himself. Dr. Joe has taken Nobel Prize winning science and cutting edge vascular research from Dr. John Cook of the Stanford School of Medicine and put it into practical clinical application to benefit his patients. By properly combining two amino acids with several important vitamins and nutrients, Dr. Joe has been able to repair the endothelium and properly nourish it for improved nitric oxide production. This has benefited his patients resulting in no strokes, no heart attacks, and less than 1% hospital admissions for cardiovascular concerns in over 7,000 of his patients. Remarkable results that have been recognized by the American Diabetes Association in awarding Dr. Joe their highest honor, which was the 2008 Father of the Year Award. To properly implement step one, you must consume two amino acids on a daily basis. The first amino acid is L-arginine. It's considered an essential amino acid. This means that your body cannot produce it by itself. Thus, you need to get L-arginine from the foods you consume. As you can see by the PowerPoint slide, I've listed some common food sources in which to obtain this essential amino acid. Let me make a few general comments. Most research indicates that for you to receive a therapeutic benefit from L-arginine, you need to consume at least 5 grams of this amino acid at one time. When you examine this slide, you can see that the four best choices are beans, tuna, chicken breast, and salmon. One can of beans, or two cans of tuna, or almost one pound of chicken or salmon are needed on a daily basis. This quantity of food is necessary to have a significant therapeutic effect on your endothelial cells and their ability to properly produce nitric oxide. The other amino acid is L-citrulline. There's not much of a food choice for this amino acid. Watermelon is your one and only good food choice. Unfortunately, 60% of the L-citrulline is contained in the rind portion of the watermelon, which most people never eat you would have to eat over a pound of watermelon to get even close to the amount of L-citrulline your body would need for a therapeutic effect. Now I need to make one more important point about these two amino acids. When you bring in a therapeutic level of L-arginine, it typically results in a 30 minute to 2 hour window of improved nitric oxide production. When you combine your L-arginine with L-citrulline, you increase this therapeutic production of nitric oxide to 24 to 36 hours. This has huge health benefits, especially for repairing your endothelium. Step two is to consume green vegetables. With the emphasis on climate change, there has been a big push to go green. Well, the same applies to your brain. You need to go green for improved brain health. Every study that incorporates green vegetables into a person's diet 
clearly shows an improvement in cognitive function. Green and darkly colored vegetables are a critical component to help you prevent Alzheimer's disease and improve your overall health. Make it a goal to eat one serving of green vegetables at least four times per week. Step three is to make sure you consume at least 400 micrograms of folic acid on a daily basis. As we have seen in a previous video, proper levels of folic acid on a daily basis can reduce the potential of developing Alzheimer's disease by 40 to 50 percent. The fourth step in preventing Alzheimer's disease is to consume omega-3 fatty acids. The research clearly shows how important omega-3 fatty acids are for good brain health. If you're not into fish and you want to avoid the extra calories of these foods, then use a good omega-3 fatty acid supplement. Step five is to get a yearly physical. Make sure you pay attention to your blood pressure, cholesterol level, blood sugar level, and iron level. Ask your doctor for a blood test that will check your ferritin level because this test will reveal even a moderate iron deficiency. Step six is to exercise your brain. It doesn't matter whether it's physical or mental exercise, you need to exercise your brain. If you like physical exercise, then make sure you have a good aerobic component to your exercise program. Your goal is to physically exercise at least three times per week, and it can be as simple as a walking program. As a standard note of precaution, you should always check with your physician before starting any type of exercise program. Now, two final thoughts. If you adopt a Mediterranean diet, you will cover steps two and four, green vegetables and omega-3 fatty acids. If you use a nutritional supplement called Proxen Plus, formulated by Dr. J. Joseph Prendergrass, you will cover steps one and three. This product includes therapeutic levels of L-arginine and L-citrulline with each serving. Proarginine Plus has been clinically proven to repair and nourish your endothelium to improve its ability to properly produce nitric oxide for improved blood flow and circulation. This proc also includes 400 micrograms of folic acid with each serving. Also included in Proarginine Plus is vitamin B12. A new study out of Stockholm, Sweden shows that vitamin B12 may protect against Alzheimer's disease. So here is your best plan of action. Take Proarginine Plus on a daily basis. Adopt a Mediterranean diet lifestyle. Exercise at least three times per week. Get a yearly physical. This simple but highly effective plan of action will help improve your cardiovascular system and substantially reduce your risks for Alzheimer's disease. At the bottom of this page, we've set up an ordering system that offers you wholesale prices on Proarginine Plus with free shipping to those with U.S. zip codes. If you would like to try a clinically proven product that can repair your endothelial cells and improve their ability to produce nitric oxide, then order Proarginine Plus with a 100% satisfaction guarantee. If you have any questions about this information or need to contact me, then please either email me or call me directly. My contact information is listed on the screen. Or contact the person who turned you on to this video series. We're part of a team whose mission is to save a million lives. Thank you for your time. We firmly believe the key to vibrant health is a healthy endothelium. Have a blessed day.